Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Trouble Cliff Project. Today I'm joined with another very talented special guest, and she's going to introduce herself and tell us about her involvement in the performing arts. Hey. Hi, my name is Sam Asrek, and I'm going to be a senior at Dirty Valley. So. When and why did you start singing? Um, I think I've always enjoyed singing, but at school I started um, to sing in the choir. Um, I think it was eighth grade and I joined because, you know, I've always enjoyed it. It's like as a hobby, but I feel like um, if I could participate at school and like make friends through that, then that would also be a really cool opportunity. So, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your experience singing and being a part of choir. Um, my experience with singing has been pretty fun. And um, I don't know, yeah, it's a lot of like the social aspect of it. Like, you know, you make friends there, you perform together, um, being in choir, um, you know, singing in the concert is also a really cool experience. And yeah, I think choir is, choir is pretty great, yeah. And so I know you said you're part of choir in middle school. And so how was that different from choir in high school? Um, choir in middle school, I think it's a lot more um, laid back in a sense. Um, I think we take it a lot more seriously in high school, but I think in middle school, like it was a lot more, um, yeah, just more chill, but it was still, it was like both, you know, middle school and high school is super fun. So, yeah. What's your favorite thing about being in choir? <sighs> Oh gosh. Um, I think I have two favorite things. One is, you know, being able to perform in front of people and just like, you know, really showcase like doing what you love. And the my other favorite is like to do all of that with um with friends or just like the making friends part of it is super important. You know, it's kind of like um I know like some people like when they start off choir, at least at our school, like they get told that, oh, choir is like a family. And, you know, they, they kind of like doubt that, but like over time, like it really starts to feel like, like a really like nice community where you can be yourself. So, yeah. What inspires you to sing? And also what inspiration do you get from singing? Um, I feel like, I don't know. It's just like an escape from just like, escape from reality. It was just, I know it's it's just like a, a fun hobby to do and um you can really like show off like creativity with it and um something like it it helps like get it helps to get things off my mind and um what was the other what was the second half to that question <laughs> sorry like what inspiration do you get from singing mm. and I feel like the inspiration I get is to I don't know. Sometimes they'll be like, I don't do this like in, as a serious hobby. I just do it like for fun. Just like, you know, like writing your own songs or just like, like formulating your own lyrics and just like writing it down. Like, I just think it's, I think it's just like a cool new like creative outlet. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. What is something that you've learned from choir and vocal music that you still carry with you today? I think I think it's always like to practice or like to stay on top of things um that's super important because you know like you don't want to you don't ever want to fall behind um oh yeah just, just like make sure you're like always attentive and like present in class also just to yeah like that for the sake of you and for the sake of like your classmates or teacher because you know like it is like sometimes it can be like a heavy like responsibility so just like be present and aware, so yeah. What is the most challenging part about being choir? Most challenging part, at least for me, is just music theory, because it is has never been my strong suit. And um, I think, you know, it has to do with like math and stuff, and just it's just not my thing. But you know, like you, I improve like with time and you know, like I end like, oh, like some, there are people who, you know, inquire who are like, who are like me, who's, who's like that. And so, yeah, it's just with the time and practice, it, you know, it, it, it strengthens your skills at that. So, yeah. 
How has the pandemic affected your involvement in vocal music and the way you perform? Hmm. Um, at least for, yeah, for choir, I'd say the dynamic of the class itself has changed a lot. Um, cause you don't, you're, you're not surrounded by, you know, your classmates, like the fellow singers. So it's, it's a different, it's a different way to perform. Um, and sometimes I feel like I'm not like at my max, like my maximum, like, like skill level. Cause I feel like, like being surrounded with people, like it really brings out like the best in you and, you know, like it's just communicating with everyone that's changed. Um, but yeah, yeah. And how is it like, what has choir been like online for people who haven't been a part of the class? Like how, how have we, you know, like performed, I guess, in a sense, and like, how are we singing our, singing our songs and like creating music online? Online, um, basically like the process of it is just like, you know, we all listen to the song and like, it's, it's super different from real life because you're, you're like recording your only part and so you can't really hear everyone else's. And so you, it, like, it's a lot more focused on yourself and like it's 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 kind of different because like you know you have to re-record until you find the best one, and um it is it's st it's still definitely fun for those you know who haven't been in real life choir, but online, um it's still fun, you know it's a different experience, but I mean if, if you're you know if if you're someone who's like a little bit insecure about your voice, I feel like this could help because you know you're like you're the only one hearing your voice essentially. But I, in a way that it, it could help um, like bring out like, you know, help you find your voice, help you be more comfortable and then like move into real person choir. But both things, both experiences are pretty cool. Yeah. What is one of the most memorable experiences you've had performing in choir? Um, most, one of my most memorable experiences. Honestly, is it okay if I say like a middle school experience in choir? I think um, I definitely have to go with um, like the eighth grade music field trip to Disneyland. It was it was really fun. And then um, you, you there was a part where like we were able to go to like Disney's like professional recording studio or something, and like really like see oh this is how they do it for the movies. Like this is how they record like voices for these all these kinds of songs. It was just like a really cool perspective because I had never like thought about the whole process of, like that they do. So it was, it was a really cool like eye-opening thing for like the real world, like entertainment industry. So it was, it, was, it was interesting. And plus I was with friends. So it was really fun. Why do you think vocal music is important and why should it be encouraged in youth? I definitely think it's important because it is a creative outlet for people like you can express your happiness, your sadness, like all kinds of emotions. And um, yeah, for youth, especially like, I, yeah, it's just like, everyone's like on their phones. Everyone's like, con like worried about social media. Um, but I feel like, I feel like with, with like music, it can be like, it can help like everyone, including yourself. You know, like, because you're emo like someone out there could experience the same emotions that you have, like in your own song or just like a song that you're singing. And like, you know, it's like a shared experience almost. And just like, it really helps like get all the emotions out and just like, it, it's an effective way to like, I don't know, just communicate. Yeah. What advice do you have for um, young artists and people who want to get involved in music and choir? I'd say just to pay attention in class, just to be present and like help when you can, or just like, like just be nice to others because like you never know what everyone else is going through. Or just like, yes, also patience. Patience is also really important with people because, you know, sometimes, um, you know, it can get frustrating to communicate, but I feel like, you know, stick it out. Just be as nice as you can be. So, yeah.
All right, well, those are all the questions I had for today. So thank you so much for being here and sharing your knowledge and experiences with us. Thank you. I appreciate this opportunity to do that. So thank you. That's it for the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on Wednesday for another one. Bye, everyone.